I have to say that I kind of like TIFF files because I can't remember ever having had a problem with one. So I have a kind of a soft spot for TIFF files. Let's have a look at the text here. I'll zoom in a bit. TIFF files generally have only one quality level, and that's a high quality level. There's no compression of the image at all. So what you see is what you get. You don't get the same kind of damage on a TIFF that you get with a JPEG. Now, TIFF files can hold additional layers for type. So if you're working in Photoshop and you put a text layer on top of an image, that can be saved as a TIFF file. You can't manipulate those layers. You can't turn them on and off in InDesign. It comes in as one thing. But the good news about that is that the text doesn't have to be rasterized into being part of the image. It stays as vector. If you rasterized it, you would be converting the vector data into pixels, and the text would then take on the same resolution as the image. Now, generally, that might not sound too bad, and if it was large text, that's okay. But if you consider that an image is generally saved for print quality at 300 dpi, if you've got a fax machine in your home or in your office, the resolution of a fax machine is also 300 dpi. Now, it's not quite the same because in an image, you've got all kinds of different shades, and on a fax machine, you've just got two, black and white. That's it. But you can see how kind of blocky and lumpy the resolution on a fax is. If you've got lettering, small lettering, it doesn't do very well coming through a fax. And small lettering in a TIFF file, if it's rasterized, won't do very well either. But if it's on a TIFF file, and you're going to print it using what's called PostScript-compatible printers. And at commercial print shops, they're invariably PostScript-compatible printers, which means they can understand incoming CMYK data. And that's quite a plus, because most desktop printers can't. They can understand RGB data just fine. But those little inkjets, which are just so incredible and cheap too, uh, they were actually designed for your next-door neighbors. So they could go away on holiday and take pictures and then come back and print them, and they look great. Because what they've taken with their cameras, with their phones, is in RGB format, and that's the kind of data that those printers can understand. If you fed them a CMYK image, it would probably print looking like it was shot underwater, because the printers just flat out cannot understand the incoming data, even though they're going to print it using CMYK ink or CMYK toner. So the print shops, the commercial print shops, have rather more sophisticated machinery which can understand CMYK, and in fact which don't want to deal with RGB at all. So in that case, if you've saved your type as a separate layer, it will maintain the vector outline of the type. Your type will print sharp, crisp, clean, even if it was six-point, really tiny. It won't be anything to do with the pixels. It'll be really crisp and clean on top of them. TIFFs can be black and white, RGB or CMYK, so you do have to be careful with that. But otherwise, they're really straightforward. They just sit on the page and do exactly what you expect them to do. They're great.